Hi right, yo, what's up? <clears throat> we got two major hires today, uh, depending on how you look at them. I was just getting ready to do a video on uh, the what was the newest hire, the Giants hired Jerry Shaplinski, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, as our new quarterbacks coach for Daniel Jones, and you know that quarterback room, the former quarterback coach of the Miami Dolphins, and he was also an offensive assistant and, um, <clears throat> for Bill Belichick on the New England Patriots from 2013 to 2015 and then he was the quarterback coach there from 2016 to 2018 before going on to the Dolphins and then going on to us and while I was you know preparing some research for that I got a notification another notification on my phone saying that we also hired a defensive line coach from Ole Miss Freddie Roach to be our new defensive line coach who I'll get into in the second half of this video so first and foremost let's talk about Jerry Shaplinski. um now, I know in my last video I said I don't want any other Miami Dolphins hires because, and and I I don't completely stand by this anymore, but the reason I did, anyone, did not want anymore is obviously because it's it was a failing program uh, this past season. The Miami Dolphins were, you know, for lack of a better word, one of the worst teams in the league. Now, we were worse than them, and as I said in the last one, my Patrick Graham video, the Dolphins did get more than anybody expected out of their players towards the second half of the season and they won a lot more games than people expected and that credit has to go to uh, Brian Flores his incredible coaching and the coaching staff that he had there and these guys were part of that coaching staff at least uh, Patrick Graham and Jerry here and I was a I held the opinion of I really don't want anybody else until I really uh and I don't want anybody else from Miami because I don't want to go from being like, you know, everybody used to call the Giants, the New York Cardinals or the New York Panthers or whatnot because we used to take a lot of players uh, from those two teams and now we're taking staff members from the Dolphins. Albeit it's two of them, but it's still two very major ones. I had to have a talk with my friend and he talked me over a little bit saying that, yo, just because they're, you know, Joe Judge is taking guys from the Dolphins or guys that he has experienced with, it isn't necessarily a bad thing. He's looking for guys that he kind of described in his press conference all of these all of these uh coaches all of these teachers which is what they are um should match his description of tough diligent organized you know well explained well versed in football and in general knowledge areas and all that and uh you know basically fit that role he was describing of of you know being tough disciplined you know they know their fundamentals and they got experience in these roles that they're taking on so for Jerry, I'll go over his resume really quickly. It's not an extensive one, uh, much like the other coaches on here. But once again, another thing that I had to kind of like have reiterated towards me, and I'm sure some Giants fans out there need to reiterate it also, because you guys probably held the same opinion and the same stance I did, and I can't blame you for that. It's a very, very logical and safe place to be at. But, you know, I'm just going to say it because we need to at least give trust and uh, give support to what we're getting here because well we have no other choice to be real with you you know we're gonna have to give these guys chances they could be amazing for all we know and that's what you're banking on that's what you want so going over his resume real quickly Jerry Shaplinski started off you know at basically the bottom tier looked like high school here I couldn't find a tweet like I usually did so, you know standing on his resume I had to go on his Wikipedia page which is fairly short it's literally like just one paragraph but it seems here he was at John Carroll from 2000 to 2001 which I think is a high school in Ohio yep and then he went to Trinity High School at John Carroll he was the graduate assistant at Trinity he was the head coach before he moved on to Case Western Reserve which is kind of like a uh, uh, intercollegiate uh, football program he was a special teams coordinator and linebackers coach there and then from there Case Western Reserve if we're gonna be completely honest with ourselves basically a nobody program somehow some way he got picked up by the new england patriots in 2013 where he became their offensive assistant and offensive assistant it isn't a big position but it isn't the smallest one either so somehow some way he caught belichick's eye or he caught the patriots eye either way it's a good thing and they brought him in from basically nowhere to a relatively good position where he stayed after two years before they promoted him to the assistance quarterback coach in 2016 and 2018 and you know during this time yes he would have worked with Brady and all that but Brady mostly works with uh McDaniels so the guys that he was working in would be Jimmy Garoppolo and Jacoby Brissett and while you could say uh that these guys aren't the best of the best they are certainly a lot better than what people expected them to be and you have to give credit to Jerry Shaplinski for coaching them in their beginning years you know and the foundations 
before they were really molded into who they are today. And I'm guessing that's why the Giants took him for Daniel Jones. We need somebody that could help mold Daniel Jones and teach him to be a great quarterback in these coming years. And then from New England, uh, he went up with Brian Flores, who Brian Flores did something very similar to what Joe Judge is doing this year, last year. Uh, he's not just taking guys that, you know, I guess you could say are his friends. No, he's taking guys that he's worked with before and that he knows are great at, their, at what they do. So, um, you know, going after that Brian Flores' model, Joe Judge took him up for this year. And I hope he could have the success that he had with Jimmy G and Jacoby Brissett. Guys who went from backups to starters. And while Jacoby had a relatively, uh, you know, okay year this, uh, this year, for the most part, they're two good quarterbacks in the NFL. And I think Daniel Jones has the potential to be better than them. So who knows where Jerry could take them. So that's it for Jerry. Not too much. Um, as for my opinion on it, I, I like it. I didn't like it initially because, like I said, the whole Miami thing. But I had to have a friend talk me into it in terms of, um, you know, giving them a chance because it's not necessarily a bad thing. The reason I like it is because it matches what Judge described in his press conference. Guys are tough. They're disciplined. They know their fundamentals. And they're great at what they do. And I believe Jerry Saplinski is great at what he does because you don't just go from a place called Case Western Reserve, which I actually had to look up before I realized it was a Division Three, um, I think in NCAA, to go into the New England Patriots without doing something good. So we'll see how it turns out, but I like this hire more than I uh, initially did. Next up is Freddie Roach, and this came out just a couple minutes ago. Giants are hiring uh, Ole Miss defensive line coach Freddie Roach to be our new defensive line coach. And Freddie Roach, I knew, I know even less about him than I do about Jerry Shaplinski, but uh, there's a good article here from BigBlueView.com that I put up in the video if I have the time. It says Roach was the defensive line coach at Ole Miss for the past three seasons. He's familiar to head coach Joe Judge because he was a strength and conditioning coach at Alabama from 2008 to 2010. Judge was an assistant at Alabama from 2009 to 2011. Roach was a defensive line and strength coach at East Mississippi in uh, 2011, defensive line coach at Murray State in 2012, linebackers coach, defensive ends coach at South Alabama in 2013 to 2014, and director of player development at Alabama from 2015 to 2016 before spending the last three seasons as a defensive line coach for Ole Miss. So that's really about all the information I have about this guy. There's like nothing else out there. You look up his name, you get a boxer, I think, by the same name of Freddie Roach. So I can't give a well-informed opinion on this. I can't say whether I like it or whether I don't like it. In fact, I would lean against, um, well, I wouldn't say I don't like it. I'm just very unsure. It's a risky move because uh, much like the hire of Joe Judge for our head coach, I mean, I guess you could say much like the entire hirings for our coaching staff, these guys are very much, you know, underexperienced. And that's not a bad thing. You know, it could work out, it could go horribly wrong, we'll see. But I don't have enough information on Freddie Roach. And trust me, I've tried to look up as much as I can about him. But there's really just not that, many, that much information. But I don't have enough information to give you guys an informed opinion and, and to confidently say, oh, I like this guy or, oh no, I hate this guy. And I don't necessarily think I, I will hate any of these coaching hirings because I trust Judge to go by his word in the press conference as he's done with all the other hiring so far. So what I can say is that this guy's probably what every other coach we hired so far is. Tough, diligent, good at what they do, hard-nosed football. And while there's at least one player on our staff right now, I mean on our team right now that knows that, Dalvin Tomlinson, uh, Roach was, I th yeah, according, if the timeline's on him correctly, he was there for Tomlinson's last two years at Bama. So... Dalvin Thompson, who is one of our best players on the defensive line right now, probably the best if you uh, put him ahead of Leonard Williams, it's really up to what you think is better because Thompson is more of a run stuffer, Williams is a bit more versatile, but Thompson knows him and Thompson came out great and one of the most co college ready players for the Giants defense in the past couple years. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, and as soon as I say that, Art Stapleton comes in the clutch. I'll Because I kind of sound like I was going to end off the video there, I will leave you guys with this quote that Stapleton tweeted out an article. And this very much backs up what I just said about him, them being good, you know, diligent and all that. Another thing, he being a teacher. This is from the Clarion Ledger back when Roach was hired to be the defensive line coach for Ole Miss. This is a quote from uh, Steven, somebody he worked with in Alabama. He, com he commands a room when he's teaching his guys. He's a very good technician and a super on the field coach 
on the field or on the field. I think that might be a typo. Ole Miss is getting a guy that can do a job at great recruiting. Freddie can fit into any situation in recruiting. He can fit into any home and he's very diligent about recruiting. I think Ole Miss will be proud with what they got. So that teaching statement right there, even though it was brief, definitely fits in line with what Judge is looking for. Just a quick recap because this video was kind of uh, longer than I expected and it covered two coaches. Jerry Shaplinski, I like it. I did not initially like it, but you know, after going over his resume and realizing that you don't make a big jump from Division Three to the Patriots without doing something great, I started to like it. And then he, you know, he coached, uh, helped form Jimmy G and Jacoby Brissett. He could definitely do something good for Daniel Jones. I like the Jerry Shaplinski hire. Uh, Freddie Roach, purely because I don't know anything of him, I'm reserving judgment for now. Uh, but. If I'm going to bank my confidence in that he is what Joe Judge is looking for, what he described in his press conference, then there's no reason for me to not like it. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm uh, sorry if this was a bit all over the place, but um, I literally just got home, you know, kind of scatterbrained right now, and I saw the two things. I had to, get the, had to get it done. But put your comments down below. What do you guys think of the hires? And I'm out. Hi right, guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Yer.